Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. We are going to discuss fantastic questions in this session from time and distance. Total four questions we are going to discuss. These four questions have already been uploaded to our Telegram channel and I have posted that one in all the WhatsApp groups, WhatsApp status, Facebook, Instagram and even yesterday's class also. At the end of the class, I have displayed these four questions on the screen so that it would be easier for the students to understand and attend this class. I hope most of the students must have finished that one. If any student is there who has not completed the question, you please take a little time Try to understand the question. I'm just starting the timer. I'm giving you 30 seconds time. 30 to 35 seconds we go for. All right. So directly we'll go for this. One second. You just take 30 to 35 seconds and try to do it by yourself. If not, simply try to understand the question. Read it properly. What exactly they have given. Just start this one. Right. right. I hope all of you understood the question. How they have given you see two trains of the same length. This is key point for us. Okay. Same length. Cross a pole in 8 and 11 seconds respectively. Small information. And the question is in how much time would they completely cross each other if they are coming from opposite direction. See students to solve this question you should know basics of a trains problems. I am going to give you two basic things about trains problems in a nutshell. After that, we start the question. What are the two things? Simple one, students. Suppose there is a pole alongside the railway track. One train is crossing this pole. Always remember to cross a pole or a stationary man or an object which does not have considerable length. Train has to cover its own length. Are the covered the distance which is equal to its own length. How, how, see, now the train from here to here, train is having this length. When it is crossing the pole, the last compartment should come here. Yes or no? The last compartment should come here. That means to cross a pole or a stationary man, train has to travel a distance which is equal to its own length. Basic point. And the other thing is, suppose two trains are coming opposite to each other like this. Two trains are coming opposite to each other. In this case, to cross completely each other, they have to travel a distance which is equal to the lengths, sum of the lengths of both the trains. Yes or no? Suppose the crossing is happening here. One train is, both the trains are in movement. This train should come here. The last compartment of this train should come here. Means in this transaction, how much distance is being travelled here? From here to here. That means the trains have to travel a distance which is equal to the lengths of both the trains. Is, are these two points clear for you? Because this question is based on these two points. Now let us start the question and try to finish it off as quick as possibly. I will explain this question a little like a, a quicker way, a little faster so that you have to like understand this one in a proper way. Now how to go for this? Uh, see train 1, train 2. Suppose this is train 1. Let us take train 1. Okay. So this is the length and this is train 2. Both are coming opposite to each other. But before taking both are crossing each other, first let us examine this point student. Let us examine this point. Very simply, for this train to cross a pole, it is taking how many seconds? 8 seconds. Okay. For this train, it is taking 11 seconds. That means in 8 seconds, this train can travel a distance which is equal to its own length. Similarly, this one. For this train to cross a pole, it takes 11 seconds. 
that means to cross the length or to travel the distance which is equal to its length it takes 11 seconds this point is clear for all of you right now while crossing each other how much time would it be taking that means they are asking for the time listen carefully from this one they are asking for the time time to find out the time i need to go by distance by speed but observe carefully here distance means length of train 1 plus length of train 2 isn't it all right speed is also not normal speed you have to take the relative speed because both are coming towards each other in the opposite direction so relative speed is speed of train 1 plus speed of train 2 this is what exactly you need to find out but students observe carefully here in the question they have not given any data about the length here distance is not given speed is not given you have to find out these two from the clues given here this type of questions are definitely asked in many many competitive exams now how to find out the distance and the speed distance means length Generally, in many books they give, they start the question by taking length of both the trains they take as x. One train's length is x, other train's length is also x meters. Generally, they take and proceed further. But if you go in that way, students, it may take ample of time. That is unnecessarily wastage of time. Here, I will give you a shortcut for that one. We will go by the LCM method. What is LCM method? Let us take the length of the train, length of first train. I am taking L1. Length of first train, I will take that one as the LCM of 8 and 11. Why LCM? To avoid the fraction further, that's it. You can take any multiple of these two. That's up to you. Right, any multiple. I am taking LCM because the number is smaller and there won't be any fraction further in the solution. Now you see here LCM 11 and 8 LCM is 11 into 8 anyway that is 88 meters. When it is 88 meters obviously this length also 88 because both are of the same length. Now here first point is cleared. While they are crossing each other the distance 88 plus 88 that's over. Imaginary numbers I am starting with. Then after that, uh, speed. And one thing you remember students, it does not mean that we have to take it as 88. Any number you want, you can take. Whichever is convenient for you. Answer will not be changed. Okay, next, speed. How to find out the speed? Directly you can find out, find out here. Here, 88 is the length and this is the time. You can find out the speed. To cross a pole, this train has to travel a distance which is equal to its length. Its length is 88. Now I need the speed, speed 1. Speed 1 is equal to distance 88 meters divided by speed 8 seconds. So just simplify this one. You will get 11. This is speed meters per second. Remember. Because meters and second. Now here also, here speed is equal to distance same 88 divided by time is 11 seconds. Now here it is 8 meters per second. Now I got both the things here. I got the distance as well as speed. Now substitute that you will get the answer. How simple this one students, right? To get this idea is very important. While reading the question only, you have to get the idea. You have to learn the basics in that way. Strong basics should be there. Alright, now let me substitute the values here. Now here distance is length of train 1 plus length of train 2, 88 plus 88 or 88 into 2, 88 into 2 is 18 into 2, 160, again 16, 176. 176 meters. Okay, divided by speed is, uh, both are coming towards each other, relative speed, 11 plus 8, that is 19. This is your answer. Simplify this one, 19, how many times will it go? 19, it's 99 times, 9 times, is 171, 5 is the reminder. So, 9, 5 by 19 seconds is my answer.
Isn't it simple for you students, right? This is the way to go for the questions in the competitive exam. Wherever it is required to take something as X, you have to go for. You have to take something as X. Don't avoid that one. But in this case, it is not required. Whenever, wherever it is not required, don't go for that one. Unnecessarily, don't waste the time in the examination. I'll give you one more tip also here. But that is applicable only when the question is in this format. In SSC examination, CGL and CHSL, generally they give these questions directly without any twist. In that case, how to find out? Simply, if you get the question in this format, without writing anything on the paper also, you can do this question. What is the technique you tell me? Simple one. You have to make a fraction. The fraction should be in this way. First take LCM of these two numbers. Multiplied by 2. Multiplied by 2. LCM of the two numbers. Multiplied by 2. LCM into 2. Divided by sum of these two numbers. You will get the answer directly in seconds. I repeat this one. LCM of these two numbers. Multiplied by 2. Divided by sum of these two numbers. Only when the question is given in this format. This method is helpful for you always because any other question is there. The logic is same. Question is different but the logic is same. You can use this method. I hope you understood this one. Okay. Right. You just uh, give in the comment box whether you have understood or not. If you have understood, just give yes. Otherwise, give no. Okay. Right. Just go for that one. Now, go for the next question. Now, anyway, answer is this one. 9, 5 by 9. 9, 5 by 9. Option number C is the right one. Okay. Right. Go for the next one, students. Ah, this is one of the good questions. Actually, this is one of the oldest questions. In many competitive exams, they have asked this question directly. Without changing the numbers, I have taken this one. Even for this one also, I will show you two method students. One is the detailed way, other one is simple shortcut. But before I explain this one, you take a little time, take 30 seconds and try to understand the question. Quickly you take 30 seconds and try to understand the question. Read the question first. Good question, a good one. Right. Hope you must have read the question and must have analyzed this one. But for your sake, I just read it out very quick. Here, a carriage, a carriage means a van, a van, small van is there. A van driving in a fog, fog is there. Okay, driving in a fog. Passed a man who was walking at 3 km per hour in the same direction. He could see the carriage for 4 minutes and it was visible for him up to 100 meters. Then find the speed of the carriage. How to go for this one? Even this question is also based on relative speed because both are moving, moving in the same direction. We can use the formula of relative speed here also. I'll explain you this question as I told you just now in two ways. First one is the detailed method. Try to understand that one. There is a benefit with the detailed method. Whenever the logic is different or this logic is used in the other way, if you are thorough with the detailed method, you can do it very easily. Okay, right. Now, just... Uh, Visualize the situation how they have given here. A man is there. Let's take this one. I'll take here. He is the man. Okay. Now moving towards this direction. A van has come here. Let us take. Uh, uh, this is a carriage. It is in the same direction. Both are going in the same direction. And uh, the man was moving in this way. At this point, uh, this carriage crossed him. And uh, both are moving in the same direction. The man has come up to this extent. Imagine in this way. Now he reached this place. In the movement, the van crossed him and disappeared here. He could see up to this extent. After that, in the fog, it got disappeared. Now we got the idea, right? Here, he could see that one for 100 meters. 100 meters. Both are moving. He is moving in this way. He walked this distance. 
After this, he could see that one for 100 meters and it got uh, disappeared. Now we got the clarity and uh, the timing, the moment it crossed him from here to here, he could see that one for 4 minutes. And uh, speed of the man is 3 kilometers per hour, isn't it? Did I take it correct? 3 kilometers per hour, 4 minutes, 100 meters. Very good. So this is how you have to visualize. Now, I need to find out the speed of the van. How to find out the speed of the van? You have to think in this way, students. I need to find out the speed. To find out the speed, I need distance and time. Distance by time. How much distance traveled by van divided by how much time taken for the van to complete the distance that's it now you tell me how much time uh, how much uh, distance traveled by the van in this transaction simple one from here to because first the man has recognized the van here right from here to here here to here that means distance is equal to distance traveled by the man plus 100 meters listen carefully students Listen carefully. This type of explanation I'm telling you, no way you, you get that one. Okay, so here, distance traveled by man plus 100 meters. And how much take it, time taken for that one? Divided by time. Time from here to here is 4 minutes. Because man was seeing that one from here to there only 4 minutes. Now it is 4 minutes. That's it. Solve that one. You will get the answer. But how to solve it? First, I should know the distance traveled by man. But one more thing is important here. You need to, you need to understand how they have given the options. They are asking for the speed of the van in kilometers per hour. Remember that one. Okay. Now, here, distance traveled by man. How to find out distance, distance traveled by man? I'm doing that one in the rough work. Distance is equal to speed into time, right? What is the speed of the man here? 3 kilometers into time taken for that one is 4 minutes. For that man, from coming here to here, it took 4 minutes. For the van, from coming from here to here, it, take, it took 4 minutes. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm just doing the man's case here, 4 minutes, but that is kilometers per hour. This is kilometers, convert that one into hours. That will be 3 into 4 minutes means 4 by 60. Now it has been converted to hours. So this is 320 times and it is 4 fives, 1 by 5, 1 by 5th. 1 by 5th is nothing, 1 by 5th of the kilometer is nothing but how many, how many meters? 1 by 5th, 200 meters. 1000 into 1 by 5, 200 meters. Now, from here to here, it is 200 meters. Now you see, the distance for the man is 200 meters plus 100, that is the total distance traveled by van. Now, total distance is 300 meters meters divided by timing is uh, four minutes that's it but here you get the answer in meters per minute but i need the answer in kilometers per hour now just i'm just taking this one out i'm converting 300 meters into kilometers 300 meters into kilometers means that is 3 by 10 only 300 divided by 1000 that is 3 by 10 divided by 4 minutes. 4 minutes means 4 by 60. So, I am doing directly into 60 by 4. Divided by 4 by 60 or into 60 by 4. Both are same. Simply go for the simplification. 2 3s, 2 2s, that is 9 by 2. 9 by 2 is nothing but 4.5 kilometers per hour. Now, it is kilometers per hour because this is kilometers and this is hours. So, 9 by 2, 4.5 kilometers per hour. This is the way to understand the question. Have you understood this one students properly? This is the detailed explanation. You must know this one. Before applying any shortcut, you must know this one. What the idea? Now, I will show one more method to you. 
whenever the questions are like this you can use the direct relative speed formula also but how to go for that just quickly i'll explain you the shortcut you just learn both the methods which is convenient for you you apply that one in your practice as well as in the examination now you see here uh, let us do the question in this way the shortcut i'll tell you keep the diagram like this only keep the diagram like this only right now here students let me take uh, the speed of the van as a uh, x kilometers per hour simple okay now i need to find out uh, the speed of the van x i use the basic formula that is distance is equal to speed into time listen carefully even this method also very important i'm taking speed of the van as x kilometers per hour now distance is equal to speed into time now in this case students observe very carefully both are moving in the same direction i want to find out the speed of the van in this case what happens uh, while moving in the same direction the speed will become the relative speed the speed of the van is x for total transaction the speed will become x minus 3 why x minus 3 because the man is moving in the same direction van speed will be reduced yes or no now here the speed has become x minus 3 simple right into into time taken for this one is as it is 4 minutes I just directly convert that one into uh, hours because it is x kilometers per hour 3 kilometers per hour now now I am converting that one to hours that is 4 by 60 over here is equal to distance now what distance we have to take here shall we take this 100 plus we have found out this one to be 200 uh, total 300 or only 100 think it over many students get confused here only don't take 300 you have to take only 100 why 100 100 is the lead distance i've explained you what is the lead distance in the previous session right so in this transaction both are moving in the same direction this van has crossed like this and this distance will become the lead distance don't take this now here that is 100 meters 100 meters 1 by 10 as simple as this one okay just simplify this one you will get the answer just simplify you will directly get the answer otherwise if you want me to simplify that one i'll just simplify this one this zero and this zero this is two twos and this is two threes now it go for 2x minus 6 2x minus 6 is equal to 3 or 2x is equal to 9 x is equal to 9 by 2 x is equal to 4.5 what's the next question see that one ah now you must do this question students this is almost the same model as the previous question just try to do this one take a little time as it is you just take 30 seconds and try to at least understand the question this is the same as the previous one Right. Have you understood this? Just, just try to read that one. Uh, close the door. Close. Ah. Have you understood this one? What exactly they have given? A train crosses a man who is going along the railway track at 4 kilometers per hour. Just like the previous one only instead of car they have given, instead of uh, carriage they have given the train. Then the man could see the train up to 3 minutes and up to a distance of <coughs> 1 kilometer before train disappears find the speed of the train if its length is 200 meters additional information here because while we are talking about trains <coughs> excuse me 
trains, we have to consider the length of the train also. Yes, and now start the question, students. Just you can do it directly with the shortcut also, or visualize that, write something on the paper, and do that one accordingly. First, I just write like this. Now, this is the man. Simple, same like the previous one. The train is coming from behind in this way. You take this train. Okay, train crossed the man here, and it went like this. Up to this extent, the man has seen the train. After this, the train got disappeared disappeared this is the one by the time the train moves from here to here the man moved up to this one let us imagine and this in this way let's imagine okay so now if you go by the detailed method you have to go in this way quickly we discussed both the methods here you should do it quickly in this way i need to find out the speed of the van speed, uh, speed of the train speed is equal to distance by Time already given for the total transaction time is 3 minutes only. This is 3 minutes. No need to change that. Now distance here. Distance. Distance means distance travelled by the man plus this distance. This distance, how much they have given? 1 kilometer or 1000 meters. This one. Okay. Now distance travelled by the man. Distance is equal to man's speed. What is the speed? 4 kilometers per hour into Time is 3 minutes, 3 by 60. Just like the previous question only. Now, I want to find out the distance, total distance train travelled. In the detailed method, you have to consider from here to here. In the shortcut, when you are taking relative speed, don't consider this only from here to here. Okay, so now, very clearly, from here to here, this one, plus, don't forget the length of the train. Length of the train means, once it is crossing here, you have to consider the length also. Now, first let us find out this distance. After that, we will add the length of the train. I forgot to tell you that. Okay, right. So now here it is 320 times. And it is 5 times. This is 1 by 5th of the kilometer. Because kilometers per hour. 1 by 5th of the kilometer is 200 meters. Then, now you tell me what is the total distance in this transaction? From here to here. 200 meters plus from here to here 1000 meters plus 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 don't forget this one length of the train length of the train is uh, 200 meters don't forget that one so now very clearly this is a uh, 1200 and 200 1400 uh, meters or 1.4 kilometers Okay, 1400 meters, nothing but 1.4 kilometers. Now I got the distance divided by time. For the entire transaction, time is uh, how much time? 3 minutes. 3 minutes means 3 by 60 hours. My final fraction for this one is 1.4 into 60 by 3. As simple as this one. So now clearly this is 3 20 times and this is 14 to 28 and 0 and point will be cancelled. My answer is 28 kilometers per hour. As simple as this one. Now go for the option students. They have given see 40 kilometers per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, 46 and 52. No, I am not getting there. So my answer is 28 kilometers per hour and my option is uh, none of these. You have to go in this way. Option is none of this. Answer is 28 kilometers per hour. Now, the same question students, you try to solve with the relative speed concept. How to go for relative speed concept? Everything is same. Everything is same. Only thing, you have to use the formula, same one that is in the other way. Distance is equal to speed into time. Simple. Now here speed will be, I am taking train speed as x kilometers per hour, x minus man speed. Man speed is 4 kilometers per hour. This is the speed. Into time is, uh, how much time they have taken? 3 minutes for that. So convert that one into hours 3 by 60. Hope all of you are following this one, right? S equal to, now distance. This is important again. Distance, uh, don't take this distance. Don't take this distance because it is moving in the same direction. Relative concept is there. Take only this one 
plus in this case train's length also so that is 1 kilometer plus that is 200 that is 1200 meters or convert that one into hours that is 1.2 okay now quickly solve that one have to go for this one quickly go for this 320 times 320 times Go for the cross multiplication here. Simply this is 20 into 1.2. That is 24. 24. Okay. Is equal to x minus 4. Or directly you write like this. Y all this thing. Simply x minus 4 is equal to 20 into 1.2. 22. That is 24 and point and 0 will be cancelled. 24 then x is equal to 28. So my answer is 28 kilometers per hour. This is the right one. Isn't it clear for you students? This is the logic actually. This is the logical way to solve the questions. These questions would become easier for you once you know the basics coupled with sufficient practice. Ample of practice is required. Okay. Go for the last question. Last question of this session. Yeah. Just take this one. It's a good question students. But a small one. Logic is there. But nowadays in many competitive exams they are not asking this question directly in this format. They are changing the format but logic is important. As it is students just take 30 seconds time and try to understand the question. Alright. Or if you are able to do that question you can finish it off. Because this question is of only 25 to 30 seconds worth. That's it. That's it. I'll explain this question also in two ways anyway. One is the detailed method, other one, other one is the logical way. Clear? Right. Now you see. Ah, now you see. What they have given? A bus without stoppages goes with an average speed of 90 km per hour. And with stoppages the speed is 60 km per hour. How many minutes per hour does the bus stop? First let me explain the logic in this one how to solve then after that we will go by simple shortcut formula for this one. Okay. What is the logic here? Just uh, see the final question how they ask how, much, how many minutes per hour does the bus stop? Let us imagine in this way the bus travelled for only one hour. Only one hour. You can do the question very very easily. This question can be done in many ways. Two, two, three methods you can do. I will give you two methods. Okay, easy. First is the logical, next is shortcut. Ah, imagine that uh, the bus travelled for only one hour. Okay, if that is the case, in one hour, without any stops, how much distance it has to cover? 90 minutes, 90 kilometers. Okay, right? So, I write the statement in the reverse way. To cover 90 kilometers, it should take one hour. Listen very carefully. In normal conditions, without any stoppages. But if it stops in midway, in one hour what happens? Instead of 90, min 90 kilometers, it can cover only, only 60 kilometers. Why it is covering only 60 kilometers instead of 90 kilometers in one hour? Just because of the stoppages. This is clear for you, right? Now, I will use the unitary method. What is the unitary method? See, to cover 90 kilometers, Actually, it should take 60 minutes. Okay. To cover 60 minutes, 60 kilometers without any stoppages. Or, if you, anybody is getting confused, I just reread the sentence in this way. To cover 90 kilometers without any stops, it takes 60 minutes. To cover 60 kilometers without any stops, it should take how many minutes? Have you understood this one? Right? To cover 90 kilometers without any stops, it is taking 60 minutes. To cover 60 kilometers without any stops, how much time should it take? It must take 60 by 90. It must take 60 by 90 into 60 minutes. How much it is? Simply go for the simplification quickly. 3 threes, 3 twos. Okay? 3 twos. So here it is 40. 40 minutes. Now we are going for the final solution. What is that one? To cover 60 kilometers without any stoppages, 
it should take 40 minutes. Got it? To cover 60 kilometers without any stoppages, it should take only 40 minutes. But it has taken 60 minutes. Yes or no? Right? Why it has taken 60 minutes? Actually, it should take 40 minutes. But why it has taken 60 minutes? Because of the stoppages. Now you tell me, how many minutes per hour the bus had stopped? It has stopped for 60 minus 40, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So clearly, just go for the option where 20 minutes is the right one. Now we got the idea students. This is the logical way actually. You have to understand all the questions in this logical way first. Only then you can apply the logic. Alright, now you see students, just in a nutshell I will explain you quickly if any doubt is there that should be dispelled. Simply they have given the statement that to cover 90 kilometers without any stoppages, it takes 60 minutes. To cover 60 kilometers without any stops, how much time should it take? 40 minutes only. Actually, if there is no stoppage to cover 60 kilometers, it should take only 40 minutes. But it took 1 hour 60 minutes. Why 20 minutes more? Because of the stoppages. That means per hour the bus is stopping for 20 minutes. As simple as this one. Now what is the shortcut for this one? This is for you students. This is for you because you should understand this logic. And what is for examiner? For examiner, we can go for the shortcut if the question is given in the same format. So the shortcut is very simple. Simply faster speed minus slower speed dividing by faster speed into 60. Direct formula this one. But this is applicable only when the question is in this format. Otherwise, you go back to the logical method, whatever I have given you now. Now, just go for the simplification after substituting the values. This is faster 90 minus slower 60 divided by 60 into this is divided by, sorry, faster speed 90. 90 into 60, that's it. Okay, now just go for the simplification. This is 30 by 90 or directly I am writing 3 by 9 into this is 60, 3 threes and this is 3 to 0. My answer is 20 minutes. 20 minutes per hour the bus has stopped. Because of that one only, the average speed has been reduced from 90 to 60 kilometers per hour. There is another method also, but don't, don't go for that one, you will be confused. Two methods here, just make a note of this. Two methods. If the direct question is there, apply this or else go by the previous one. Alright, this is the way students, the uh, how to solve time and distance questions. This is the fifth one, fifth session in this series. Next tomorrow, we are going to change the chapter. We will discuss time and work chapter or profit and loss between these two, any one. Profit and loss or time and uh, work because many students are asking for that one. So we'll go for that. I'm now displaying those questions. I'll, I'll just post the questions in our Telegram channel uh, like uh, by 7, 7.30 today. Uh, to, tonight of course 7 7 30 you please go through our telegram channel download that one i'm giving the link below this video in telegram we'll keep in facebook insta and uh, whatsapp status also in our whatsapp status also we'll give by the way our whatsapp number is you please make 9515986872 many students have uh, added this number uh, anyway, students, I am going to give the status also. In this status, I keep tomorrow's questions. Thank you very much and every day you will be having quant class at 6.30. Thank you very much, students.